Good evening, sports fans. This Saturday, the first of two very important scrimmages for the Georgia Southern football team as head coach Chad Lunsford and his staff try to narrow down a starting quarterback for the Eagles' upcoming season opener. Cam Ransom looking to do something that's never been done on the banks of beautiful Eagle Creek. Just got to take one day at a time and one step at a time, but it's, 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 you just got to gotta pace yourself and you just got to go with the flow. Ransom in a battle to become Georgia Southern starting quarterback. If he earns a nod under center, he would become the first true freshman signal caller to lead the Eagle offense in a season opener. I think he's come in fairly mature for a freshman, um, probably a little bit more different than what you expect out of a 19 year old. Needless to say, Ransom, well, he passes the eye test. The biggest quarterback taking reps during camp, a left handed passer and a bruising runner. He's very coachable when we say, hey, here's how we do it. Here's how we do this. Here's that. All right now. Hey, don't worry about locking in. We're having fun, whatever. Like he gets it. Ransom's road to Statesboro, a unique one. The former three star recruit out of Armwood High School in Lakeland, Florida, picking Georgia Southern over the likes of Virginia Tech, Boston College, Kentucky, and Marshall. And he signed with the Eagles despite not making an official visit to Statesboro due to the pandemic. Just the love and that Coach Longford and Coach, Coach Roos had. It was just the love and relationship that we had over the phone and off the phone. You know, Saying, but I, I feel like they trusted me and I just felt like I can go with this. Ransom, Sam Kenderson, and Amari Jones all figure to be competing to get the start against Gardner Webb on September 4th. Justin Tomlin, the most experienced college quarterback and the early favorite to start the season for the Eagles, will miss the first two games of the 2021 campaign due to an academic issue. To be honest with you, I mean, it may be one quarterback, it may be two quarterbacks. Like, I, I'm not opposed to playing a two quarterback system as well. So uh, we'll see how that plays out through the two scrimmages, but I'd like to make a decision after second scrimmage. 